Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under crown of stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. It is perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. It is perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness but lurking sun? What is wall but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death? Pending. Death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. We are in the game. Hello everyone, my name is Asmodeus and welcome to Vampire. Now if you're wondering why I'm uh, not in screen yet, it's because I forgot to record when I was playing this game. So this is added afterwards. Um, now first of all, my first impression of the game were just like the atmosphere were phenomenal. The sounds, uh, the way that everything is set up, it just makes me feel like I am actually in that time period. Well, not actually, because it's not in VR, but it's, it sets the mood uh, right. And, um... Thirsty. So thirsty. Please, hold on! Oh god. Oh no. 
dialogue-heavy game. Uh, you can see me walking around trying to... I need to get out of here! Um, because this game is so dialogue-heavy, there's not a lot of chance for me to talk. So if you hear uh, me being silent, it's because be I just can't talk at that moment. So, uh, especially this part. Um, no, please, stop! I mean you no harm! A lot of uh, talking is going on. So, um, I'm just... Uh, Right now I'm just trying to uh, go over the controls for myself um, while also playing the game. What's going on? So, so this game takes place oh, in uh, 1918's uh, London uh, during the about? Spanish flu or plague. Shit, where'd it go? You play as a guy named uh, Jonathan Reed, who Sorry. used to be an, uh, but you left me no uh, a doctor in the army and then uh, went back to London to start his practices there because the war is actually over. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot of the game, I just know the premises of it and that you're not supposed to kill all who are the you? people. Stupid beast! I do know that this is an open world game and uh, this, uh, based on the map which you guys will get to see later, it is very extensive. Uh, so right now we're just in the uh, start phase. In other words, we haven't really actually started the game yet. Just an introduction to the game. No, please stop. Who are you? What do you want? I mean you no harm. I I need help. Die, you fucking leech! Huh. Please, listen to me. I, I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? W what is this all about? Ah! Ah! What in God's name? I'll do the rest ah. of the job. Ah. Ah. Just, just leave me. Ah! 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 The sun. It feels like it's burning me to the bone. So at this time, he Jonathan I still doesn't know that he's, to he is actually a vampire. He thinks that he is living Let me in go! some kind of dream or something, and that he just doesn't know. He just doesn't know what to do at this moment.
I need to find shelter. Is anybody there? seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. So here we have the first safe house. Uh, these are important because this, uh, these are places where you can save your game. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. So, despite this uh, uh, this place being very dark, it is very atmospheric. You can see a lot of things happening, and if you don't check everything, you might miss something. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Picking the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him a knee. I'm gonna read this passage. Liches do not fear the sun or fire, and they do not burst into flames or ashes when they are caught under rays of daylight. But it hurts them good, real, really good. I have personally changed a vampire to a tree to see what would happen when the sun rises. Its skin, its skin blackened, and in a few mi minutes, as if it was burning from the, from the inside, its fire and flesh melted, and I saw its unholy bones move and squeal as the beast tried to escape all day long. In the end, only a desiccated corpse remained, which started to slowly regenerate when the sun disappeared behind the horizon. I cut its head off. To finally destroy it, and when I tried the same test with fire, the bone, uh, bone, bloody leech never came back from the ashes. Fire is our weapon of choice, brothers. To burn the beast is the best way to kill it for good. From Know Your Enemies by Carl Eldritch, Priven Leader. So as you can see, we have an extensive menu of everything we uh, can use including the map. Um, I still don't know what everything includes, but I do know that um, everything in this menu is uh, very important. Uh, as you can see, we also have a picture of Jonathan Reed, uh, what we look like uh, in our faces. I think I did buy, the, uh, buy this as a pre-order, so at one point I should get more equipment. Um, I don't know when... But I think uh, somewhere later on in the game, 
Uh, otherwise, I just have to look. As you can see uh, on the map, uh, this is uh, very extensive because they didn't just do part of London. Uh, they did most of London in that time. Uh, you can also see the River Thames. We don't have any quests at the time. Uh, nothing to investigate. But um, we do have a menu with uh, faces. I don't know what they are at this point in time. But we do find out later on what it, uh, what it entails. much to accomplish. I still have so much left that needs doing. Save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. No, it never got easy. Bloody Diary. 15th October, bad sleep. Becky coughed all night and the fever made her delirious. I, I heard a noise in the morning. It's a big machine some men brought by the banks to dig a big hole in the ground. It was some sort of mechanical shovel. Maybe I could go there and ask for some work. Becky needs medicine. 16th October. I talked to the men with the mechanical shovel. They told me they were they are digging mass graves all around London. Safety measures, apparently. Is there a new epidemic? Is the flu coming back? They had no work for me. Becky slept a little last night. The foundry has been closed, and there are no more jobs nearby. 19th October. I went to London to find some groceries and drugs. No trains. It took me the whole day to cross the Thames and come back. Becky seemed better. I made a soup she ate. I found no drugs, only, f only a few syringes. And some sleeping pills on the black market. We have no money left. Maybe I could go to the Pembro Pembroke Hospital tomorrow. But it's so far. And I fear leaving my wife for so long. Uh, isn't Pembroke an uh, actual hospital? Uh, 19th October. Becky threw up the meal a few hours after she ate. She's so frail now it makes me cry. She says she hears voices outside at night. She says she wants to eat meat. Where would I find meat? Tomorrow I'll barricade the house to protect us from looters. 
21st October. The man with the mechanical shovel have stopped digging the mass grave. I heard shouts all night as if they were attacked. Now there are only a few boats throwing bodies day and night in the, into the giant hole. It smells terrible. We should have left uh, this house a week ago, but Becky, she refuses to leave. She'd rather die, she said with a nasty smile. Why is she torturing me so? 22nd October. Becky just attacked me. She jumped on me from the stairs and tried to bite me. I had to smack her, but she smacked me back. I went upstairs and locked myself in, t in the bedroom. bedroom. Now I can he hear her crying and mumbling downstairs. I retrieved the gun I hit in the ceiling since the war uh, to protect the house. Now I'm ready to use it to protect myself from my own wife. 23rd October. I could not sleep at all. Becky spent the whole night scratching at the door asking for my help, begging me to let her in. But I was too afraid to open it. I'm just waiting for her to die now. It will not be long. I pray, I pray God it went soon. 24th October. I was so hungry. I tried to go downstairs this morning. Becky was sitting in the armchair by the chimney. She was panting like a dog, looking at me with, without moving, just following me around the room with her eyes. I pointed a gun at her sore face, but she did not react. I could not pull the trigger. I went back to my room. 25th October. The house is silent like a tomb. No more noises. Becky is dead now. Forgive me, my love. I was unable to save you. I will be with you soon. This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. I did not want to shoot. I actually looked away at this part. I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see it. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. Montaigne's blinding sunlight into a glowing reflection. Evolution. Hide all bets allow you to evolve and dress. Spend experience point to level and up and improve your vampiric skills. You drain your own blood to heal normal and aggravated damage in instantly. Okay, so you have to hold A to spend any points that you have. Um, so I first thought that uh, the numbers at the top actually meant the amount you had to spend, but that's actually just the damage or whatever uh that you get to use so because i don't have a lot of uh xp 
I'm just gonna get the claws. Um, I was kind of regretting it after seeing how much damage the shadows did, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, going to do that uh, as soon as I have enough points. But this system actually makes me think a little bit about uh, uh, God of War and how you have to spend your XP wisely in order to be able to uh, move on. The one thing I don't like is that you have to wait until you get to a uh, bed in order to do so. But on the other hand, the beds are a safe point, so that might be uh, why. Voice in my head. If I'm not. Eternal thirst. Night is here again. I am in London now. Somewhere near the East End docks, I suppose. I don't know this part of town. All I know is this someone is killing people here, murdering them, butchering them, drinking their blood, making them like him? Is this what happened to me, my poor Mary, my poor sister? I must follow the blood trail, find answers. Maybe I should start maybe I should start by gathering information about what happened to this place while I was away. Then I will find who did this to me, who made me what I am now. And my quest now is to identify and confront the vampire who created me and reach North Bank. Mad then it must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand. What I have become. to leave now. Here's the leech. Here! So I am happy that this game is so dialogue heavy. Otherwise, um, me not recording all this would have been really, really bad. My head's spinning. Um, so the only reason I am actually recording some sound afterwards is because I don't want to, uh, uh, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to uh, annoy any uh, developers because this needs to be original. Uh, offhand weapons. Offhand weapons can be used by pressing Y. They have attacks with special effects and consume stamina. And they also have a shelter key, so I think it's for either the door upstairs or the door downstairs. We shall see. Accidentally put down a marker uh, because I, I keep forgetting that it's an Xbox controller, so I push buttons I'm not supposed to push uh, because I'm used to Nintendo. It's locked, Nintendo right. controllers. Uh, just, no, it's not my intention to actually do so. I'm still in Southwark. Over there. I must reach the West End. Go back home. Okay. Stun. Press Y to use your stake and inflict stun damage. A stunned enemy can be bitten. Die, vermin! Okay. Okay, so I finally know most of my buttons. Uh, bite. Press A to bite and stun uh, stun enemy. 
And uh, fighting does actually uh, give you never knew I some health back and it takes. Uh, it, it, it damages uh, your enemies. And that's my vampiric uh, attack. Unfortunately, I can't uh, smoothly go down here yet. But hopefully later on I will be able to. Stupid beast! I sing you every fiber of my being is on fire. I feel like a child learning the limits of my body. Sometimes enemies uh, leave uh, uh, rewards for you to get, which you'll be able to pick up afterwards. Uh, you'll know in a bit what I mean by that. And that is those guys then. My reflexes. I'm not human anymore. Okay. We're using the marker. So, yeah, if there's a platform that is higher than normal, you can just uh, shadow your way up. Which is a really cool mechanic. It's not as cool as the glider from Legend of Zelda, but still, being able to just swoosh over to one pl from one place to another is just awesome. Fortunately, you can't do it on the way down. Otherwise, I'd be doing that all the time. But apparently, there's a limit to that. And, um,. Your enemies like give you shillings or whatever you might need uh, later on. That guy didn't do anything. And uh, yeah. Sometimes uh, enemies don't leave anything. So it's kind of like a, a stroke of luck kind of thing. I guess maybe. But I'm not sure. We're now 35 minutes in, we're almost at the point where I realized that I wasn't recording. Uh, so as soon as that point comes, I will stop using this and uh, add in my uh, base cam, my webcam. Uh, but um, like right now, I just if you guys have noticed, like at the beginning, I already said like the atmosphere was awesome. But like, yeah, the, the atmosphere in this game is just uh, phenomenal. Uh, your king and country needs you. So war posters. Uh, same here, only some of the words you can't see. But yeah, this, the music and uh, how dark it is actually really just set the mood for uh, this particular situation. My poor sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. Yeah, you can uh, fight rats. Uh, I game have blood. this thirst for In order blood. To attack people. So, instead of biting people, you can actually just go for the rats. And not uh, bite any of the people in it's the town. Locked. However, it does mean that you won't get a lot of uh, XP. So... Well, it is a thing that you uh, can choose not to do the so. Dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. You do act to, uh, need to actually uh, consume people. And the main reason for this being that if you do not, uh, you won't be able to progress progress as well as uh, otherwise. Okay, so from here. From here on, um, I noticed that I was not recording the game, and um... Okay, so I've been playing this game for I don't know how long, and um, I very uh, goodly forgot to press record on my camera. So there's that. 
and I've been recording for almost 38 minutes. So while you've been enjoying this game, um, I have been talking to a camera that has not been running. Yes. So hi, I'm Asmodeus. I'm the idiot who forgot to re push record on the camera, and um, let's do this. So basically I've just been talking about how this is uh, this game is just awesome and how I love the soundtrack of this game actually really sets the mood and I've uh, also been uh, dissing uh, our dear Jonathan Reed who is a 1918 uh, doctor working for the Can you stop commenting about that? What will London have to say to me? Um, I don't think a lot, because uh, I think most people just don't know. I cannot enter. Okay. I, I have think. so many questions unanswered. I think most people just uh, don't really know. Uh, don't really know what a vampire is, or a vampire, because there's no E. Anything? Yes. I've probably been missing a lot of those shillings as well. Another corpse? Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Now the one th good thing I can say about this game is the fact that even though I forgot to push record, uh, this guy keeps talking to himself a lot. Not even just thinking the things. No, he's just talking. Uh, Fresh blood. The smell is so strong. Something dire must have come about. Okay. Also, I'm still just walking around because I uh, want to see what is uh, here. It's locked. Okay. Worth try. I just want to be certain that I don't miss anything because as you've seen uh, throughout uh, this game while I've been playing without recording uh, Where has everyone gone? A lot of it is uh, as I was going to say, but let's continue. You just got a new hideout. Here you can spend XP while resting on craft items at the workbench. Nice. Okay, I don't know what that meant. But I can grab some things. On a workbench you can craft medical treatments to heal sick citizens. Serums to boost yourself, weapon upgrades to improve and customize your weapons. Can I craft 
grab anything? Oh wait, is there anything else I can do? This egg can be recycled into the components. Let's see. Could be a cell file. This stuff can be recycled into components. Well, let's not do that for now. See if there's anything else I can get here. Ooh, I got some stuff. Nothing here. Uh, can I craft anything yet? shit and I can't use it. Increase the damage inflicted when using biting combat. No. I forgot I needed to confirm the following night. So can I use this now? Can't use that apparently. Sec. 
because I have to check it. According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that must be the killer's trail. There is no one in sight. Nope. But I want to check something out. Screws and grease. If saved by efficient medical aid, is a blow struck at the <laughs> of a flu epidemic. Volunteers make a make the difference. If you're wondering why I keep placing marker, it's because um, uh, I'm used to using a uh, a um, where am I? using uh, the uh, Nintendo controller. Okay. Oh, there's a baby somewhere. Last, a little life. Welcome, sir, to the turquoise turf. My <coughs> oh, God, sir, you look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not, not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is going to be another long night. Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. Where am I? Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir, the turquoise turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets, <laughs> and I never go outside. So you're open all night? Yep. 
Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. Well-dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh, yes, no funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Has anybody entered the bar recently? I can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? It's not America, but yeah. What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. I blamed a sewer dog, eh? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. True. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom, then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. What is this place? This is Tom's bar. A turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina, if you want to know. You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. Okay. Well, that's, I, that's reasonable. I mean, most people wouldn't want to go out when in, when there's murders going on about. You wouldn't necessarily... When there's serial killings, you'd probably stay inside at night, so... Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. I don't know if that's a good idea if there's an epidemic. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just of other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah. Of course. I mean, I'd best check on them. Oh, you're so busy. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic, now all these terrible murders. The murders? What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some say the sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. But now he's killing in the streets. 
What have you heard about the epidemic? It's a Spanish flu. Yeah. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. I forgot that the Spanish flu was a thing in that time. I'll leave then. Thank you. Because I do know, uh, Spanish flu was a few years ago where it uh, actually was a thing. Um, but um, it was also a thing fairly recently. Um, and it mostly affected people who had a weak immune system or who were unable to. Uh, are they stupid or something? Old or something. Oh, I think you've been to India. Like older people, children, and uh, uh, people with weak immune systems. So there was a lot of trouble around that. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require them. I think someone is eavesdropping. Yeah. You, sir. Mm. You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. <coughs> Who are you? I, I mean you no harm. Say it, the vampire. Present yourself! I... I need a word. With anyone. Oh. Well, that's something I can do for you. So you tried to kill me with the cross and now you want to talk to me. Yeah. I find that hard to believe. And who might you be? what you want, then I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire, like you. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. The same shadow. This is all new to me. I'm not even certain what I'm looking for. 
You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I don't know. I... I don't know yet. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. Most likely. Hey. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. I need a hint. Hello, sir. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. <laughs> I'll leave you to your bottle then. I thank you. I think I'm losing my mind. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. And you are rich, sunshine. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was gonna clock someone. What happened tonight? He was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes, his face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Okay. Uh, tell me about him or why are you so afraid? Why, why are, you, are so afraid? you so afraid? I mean, his skin, his hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. Okay, tell me about Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, Will... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Oh, you just discovered a hint. It reveals a secret about a citizen or someone related to him, Chris. Tom Watts. Oh. Tom and William Bishop used to be good friends. Does a vampire in human blood to evolve the book quality bar in the case the XP will earn if you feed on the citizen unlock hints and increase the amount of XP? I do for you. Well, uh, this vampire can force a citizen to reveal mistakes to uh, hint you discovered blueprints. Well, 
Talk to me about William. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. To me or is he? Why lie to me? Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. Okay. Well, who is who he? Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. So, uh, as we Dutch people say, uh, have a deeper glass of gekeken. Is he dangerous? Uh, how was he tonight? Uh, is he dangerous? Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He can barely stand up most of the time. Oh, there's some drunks who can uh, bite and bark at the same time, so... How was he tonight? How was he tonight? Was he different? Sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside and then he left when I refused. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What do you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong, now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Such a nice friend. Oh. <laughs> okay, you can just go back here, apparently. Well, apparently I can do a lot else, so... facing the right way. Okay. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city. You do that. So I need to go over here. Wait, is there stuff over here? Checking everything just in case I miss something. We should probably stop recording in a bit. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. Oh. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. What's this? Some sort of note. Pick it up. 30th October from G. McCollum to Docks Patrol. Object multiple deaths in the Docks region. We believe an athlete is involved. Locate the beast bird and quickly. Warning According to recent reports, this vampire is violent. Approach with extreme caution. I know we like men in this part of town, but don't send rookies to investigate the case. If I'm correct, we've got a friend seed, one killing each night. As always, search as always search abandoned places first, like old houses, basements, sewers, or warehouses. Destroy the leads for this. These men they're a company of professional vampire hunters. Okay. Uh Samuel. This corpse has been dried of its blood. Just like the previous victim. He also seems to be scratched open. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Here. No. Ooh. Really, really 
Enemies are more res resistant to certain types of damage. There are four types of resistance physical, melee, and ranged. Power is blood shadow. Wounds indicates a medium resistance, red indicates a high resistance. Apparently, do not have. And there's a body here. Ooh. New classical. New practices, new tactics. I don't know. 
but some of our companions consider that the best advantage we have in our fight against Thetis is that they can go out during the day. Thus we can hunt them down when they hide. Powerless in nestling. This is a rookie mistake. First, because vampires are clever and they have countless ruses and tricks to avoid being spotted in their den. Second, because they deploy many deadly traps to kill any intruders in what they consider their most precious sanctuary. It will cost us too much, too many men, too much men, and too much time to explore and eradicate vampires in their hideouts. The best tactic is to follow them and destroy them when they are and when they really are vulnerable. When they hunt at night, it is much easier to attack them then, for they can easily be spotted. That's why the god of Bruin must evolve and deploy new tactics to hunt leeches. Small mobile patrols, tactics based on technolo technological advantages, modern communications. We can learn many things from the war in France. New strategy, new equipment and new weaponry. Grenades, white bright phosphorus, ultraviolet light, bulletproof vests and flamethrowers. It is time for the god to embrace the 20th century. Brian you are by Geoffrey McMullen, Bruin leader. I don't think I like that guy. Let's see. I still need to follow the book on the Just look up here. Let's not provoke this guy. I still love it. Let's go up there, and there is a guy. Give this gift. No, gift. Thank you. Annoying. How did I not see this? Use Dupara. So I found a new hideout. Um, thank you. Uh, ooh, nice. 
can't do anything. Can't do anything. <gasps> I can't do this. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What do we need for you? for you. But I can do this. I need another common handle part. And I need aluminum powder and aluminum powder. Okay. What do I get for you? Nothing interesting. So, um, I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna leave this, uh, let's play here from uh, this game. I, uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you guys did as well. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this here. Um, I've been playing for about an hour and a half now. Uh, half of that I forgot to actually uh, click the record button uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this um, I'm gonna save my XP for now I think and uh, then when I get the chance I'm gonna well I can spend it now but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this I, do, I at least I, I did at least uh, I'm gonna edit this as soon as possible uh, for now I'm just going to go to bed because it's 2.12 um, yeah if you liked it give that like button a click uh, if you want to see more please subscribe and push that bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video and uh, I will see you guys in the next video bye bye